Hey everyone, Bob here. All the coasters in my top 10 steel coasters must meet these few criteria. They must have been built as a traditional steel coaster. Supports, track, structure must be steel. No RMCs are considered on this list. Traditional steel coasters only as the RMCs will be a totally separate video. While my coaster count is nowhere near what other enthusiasts have, I'm just under 100 myself, I feel I have ridden just as many rides, just less actual coasters. I think I have a decent feel to judge coasters I have not ridden yet but I did my best to include most I have ridden. These are just opinions based on what I like in my ride experiences. We are all different and we all have our own thoughts on what is good or not good. I hope I can keep you somewhat occupied during your isolation or attempt to be safe. I hope to relieve your mind if not for just 20 minutes. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give me a big old thumbs up. So, here we go.
one extreme, how about the world's first giga coaster? In the world of the extreme ride enthusiasts, a giga coaster is 300 feet or higher. By becoming the first full circuit track coaster to break the 300 foot barrier and achieve a speed of 93 miles per hour, Millennium Force earns its title as an extreme ride. A lot of people, you work every day of your life and you do the same old things and you come out to Cedar Point, you do Millennium Force and you feel like you've really done something special. Hi there, my name is John Flaherty and I am riding Millennium Force. Right now we're going up the 310 foot tall lift hill. Now this lift hill is a little bit unique. It uses an elevator cable system, not like that of a standard lift chain on coasters found all over the world. Uh, the result is it gets you up to the top a little bit quicker. As a matter of fact, here we go, down a 300 foot drop at an 80 degree angle. Run.